Hey friends, this vlog is starting pretty late, but um, I'm heading out to meet my sister for dinner. Yes, it's dark in the house. Hang on. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> I'm heading out to meet my sister for dinner, so it's the beginning of a new vlog. Heading out to go meet my sister for dinner. Been meaning to meet her for dinner. Um, it's been a crazy day. I'm just going to throw something on and then get out of here. Okay, let's do that. There is a heart, I'm going to rock this little satin number. Kikinya from Kumautung. And if my mother saw me wear my skirt like this, she'd die. She'd die. Well, that's a little bit morbid, isn't it? It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to be in all black. That's that's essentially the plan. Because it's nighttime, summertime, dark, we're gonna go with Nashine. Nashine. This is available at Skins Cosmetics. I have a blazer we're gonna just throw this on top. Just so cute, yes. Oh, what a look, honey. Oh, that's cute. The fact that I can't find my leather jacket. I ain't shabby sharp What the fuck is my jacket? Yay. I got this from Diesel from Kenya. He got this for me when he went to Kenya. Isn't it cute? I can't wait to wear it, but I'll only be able to wear it in winter. And it's got a little, ah, oh, I love it. I wonder if that, there's one thing that Jen did that's good in his lifetime. It's that one, it's that one. That's the look that I've come up with for the evening. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I can take this off when I get there. Cause it's a bit warm but i think it's cute it's got a bit of grunge but like i just came from work but like i'm still cute we love it Let's Just shall we? Hi. Hi. As you know, it's very hot, eh? It's very hot. And if you could see me, I'm in tracksuit pants. Why? I don't know. But I'm going to change to my tights now that I wear when I'm at home. I'm going to change shortly. Hey, everybody. It's another vlog. Um, I think the beginning of this vlog was when I went out to dinner with my sister a couple of nights ago. Uh, today is now Friday and i'm actually about to make some chicken strips i feel like cooking chicken strips it's friday i typically don't cook on a friday but i feel like making cajun chicken strips and then i don't know what i'll have it with i've got rolls i've got bread i can make it with rice if i wanted to it doesn't really matter i just feel like doing those now and then um, I got a really, really exciting package that I am going to open up with you guys. So excited, super excited for this one. I'll explain everything when we get to that. Uh, but for now, let me just start by wash my hands and then make this food. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, uh, we should be good to go. We should be good to go. And then I'm gonna pour myself a drink. It's the next most important thing. But let's start with preparing and cutting these veggies and stuff. Okay, let's do that.
the next day it is 25 past 12 Saturday afternoon do I look half dead it's because I am I slept at around five o'clock this morning I could not for the life of me sleep I tried I kept on tossing and turning trying tossing and turning I was having one of those nights and I haven't had a night like that in a long time. I actually need to go get something over there. Mm. And pee. I'll be back. I'm back. I'm going to unwrap this. It says fragile on it. So we're going to be fragile with it. So basically one of my uh, clients that I coach is originally from South Africa, but she's based in Japan. And I don't know what it was that we were talking about um, and we spoke about, you know, Asian cuisine, Asian food, all of this. And we were talking about how Osaka in Japan is one of the, you know, food places, very well known for its food, all of that. Um, and I was telling her about my trip to Tokyo and how I really did enjoy the food and I love Asian cuisine, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, listen, I can send you some stuff. And I'm like, really? Oh, really? Thank you. So she sent me some things and I'm really, really excited. Forget the fact that I'm extremely tired. Okay? I'm very... I, I can't even... I can't even... I have focus. So we're going to open this. So excited to open it. Sure. It's going on here. Alright. So we've got a Woolies bag in here. Let's see. Okay. Oh my God. I'm going to need Google Translate. Okay. But all I can tell you is that that looks like green tea. <laughs> and a girly loves herself some green tea, sweetie. But a girly is going to need to understand what's written on here. Okay. So... <laughs> So, oh my God, and I love green tea. This is so sweet of her. Uh, so I'm not going to know what any of the stuff is until I Google Translate. Wait, let's see. This. Premium tea bag. Okay, okay, sweetie. Okay, Jep. Uh, okay. Okay, we, we already know here we've got cheese curry cup of noodle. So excited. Cheese curry? Are you joking? And here's the cheese sachet on top. This is so exciting. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about this. This is so cool. Rice cracker snack. It's a rice cracker snack. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. It's like, it's like winning something and I just want to try everything. So we've got a cup of noodle as well. Curry. This is just curry. This one is cheese curry. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I had noodles last night because I couldn't decide what I want to eat. So I might not be eating those for a while. And then of course she included some. Okay, we got us some chopsticks. These are so cute. Good luck chopsticks by Lucky Cat. It's so cute. Ah, oh, this is so sweet. Man. Okay. What is this? It looks like kind of like a nut. Yeah, there's nuts in there. So this is like a, like a bit of like a snack, which has a nut in there, but also 
See that? It looks like a. It looks. It looks a bit like a crisp as well. Okay. Ooh. Me. Guchang. This is like a pepper. Because I'm seeing the red chilies here at the top. Let's see what this one is. This is so exciting. This is so freaking exciting. Oh God. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. So it's like a barbecue sauce. What do you even mean? Oh my God. It's like a barbecue sauce. I'm gonna have to find out how I prepare it, how I use it. Nice, I'm not sure what it is. We've got more snacks. We've got more snacks. These, I feel like they're rice cakes as well. You know, Japs and rice, eh? Asian people and rice. It's a snack stick. It's a snack stick. It's a savory, crunchy, puffed corn snack stick. And it's a famous Japanese snack. It tastes like mentai. I'm so excited. I cannot even tell you. Golden curry! I've heard great things about Asian curry. So, my darling, I don't even know how to prepare this. But, you know, oh, it's curry cubes. So, I want to, like, be stock. What, 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 what? This is a curry stock. Because you add it to... Oh, my God. Um, what is this? <gasps> Toboki! Look at that! <laughs> I'm so it is! It absolutely is! It's out of the bag. I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much, doll. I know she's gonna watch this. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. We got rice cakes, baby. I might just cook this today. If my power decides to come back. I don't know. Because it's not load shedding. It's some sort of unscheduled power cut. But these are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, I cannot wait. Let me just take a minute. I need to go over to my lady's place. I need to help her shoot something. Because, you know, she's famous and everything. She's constantly shooting. So I need to go help her shoot something. She she might actually come up, come here and pick me up. I think we'll have to see. Um, but outside of that, I have a pounding headache and I'm trying to figure out what in the world I'm going to eat if I can't even warm up a cup of tea, guys. Kurkinar, nar. And then I'll show you some books that came in last week from Jonathan Ball Publishers. Very very excited about that as well. So happy that uh, I received some books from them. But for now, I'm just going to take just, just, just a smidgen minute. Just a smidgen minute. Uh, good morning, friends. Good morning. I'm on my way to work. It is a certain part of this vlog. I'm really not sure where this vlog is going. I'm not sure what I've recorded beforehand. I'm not sure what I've recorded now. I don't know nothing. I have a bit of... <laughs> if you're in South Africa and you know, you know, okay? Um, I'm having a bit of... Wow, 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 sir. Sir! Rude! Look at this. Um... I'm having a bit of a disheveled morning. Lots, lots of stuff going on. Um, today, I'm on my way to the office. I've got a couple of things to do. Uh, but in case you guys didn't know, I also work in the family business. I work with my dad. So, sir, look, why, why are we driving this today? Today, today. Um, so I'm. In case you didn't know, I work with the family business. I work with my dad. But today is also going to be, I'm interviewing him. Okay. So I'm doing this thing and I wanted to do it last year for his birthday. Never got a chance to do it. There was just so much going on at the time. But I am going to do it this year. Not for his birthday. Not for anything particular. Maybe I might just actually give it to him for Father's Day. Uh, which is in June, so 
long way away um, but I'm actually going to film him on a number of occasions um, the first interview I'm having with him is today the reason is I feel like so much of our family heritage um, family life our ancestors our great parents great grandparents uh, parents uh, great great grandparents all of this um, I don't know much about them I don't know much about my grandmother's family I don't know much about my grandfather's family that kind of thing so I'm going to be doing a series of interviews or conversations right conversations with certain members of my family uh, starting with my dad uh, the next one is definitely going to be my grandmother and I'm really excited for that one as well um, but starting with my dad I'm going to do a series of conversations with them where I document um, family history how they feel about parenting how they feel about children all of this so I spent the early hours of this morning writing down questions that I want to ask my dad for the first leg of his interview or conversations with him um, and I'm very very excited for it so uh, I'm on my way to work we have a couple of things that we need to do first before I can get to sit him down and have a conversation with him and then after that I think we're meeting my sister for lunch and then coming home <laughs> let me tell you something about me and tiktok <laughs> tiktok is where it's at okay um so i responded yet again to another tiktok that that did something crazy to my viewership on tiktok okay and my followership and all of that the last time i responded to a guy by the name of uh, pilani and he was talking about how silent treatment is a form of emotional abuse and i responded to that tiktok that tiktok mine my response is sitting on over six hundred thousand views right now and that's crazy in my world that's that's viral that's viral <laughs> um, but outside of that then there is uh, Mrs. White Mrs. White my darling not you girl not you uh, there's a content creator by the name of Mrs. White who's on TikTok never knew who she was until I saw her TikTok and if I can get it I will put it here so you can watch it reasons why i literally get turned off by men if you don't open the door for me it's chai you don't pull out the chair for me it's chai baby if you don't buy me flowers it's also chai for you baby i don't like asking i do not date men that want me to ask i date high value men that know what a woman needs the moment i tell you i'm doing a coffee date or a breakfast date with a friend you must, it's either you're going to ask me how much I need or you are literally just going to send the money. If you don't, it's shy. If you are not going to ask me what I want for a monthly allowance or you're just not going to tell me that this is how much I'm going to give you for a monthly allowance, it's shy, baby. If you are not going to buy me the Rolls Royce that I want, it's also shy. Because whomst are you? shut up as a man you are gonna book those trips you are gonna make it happen and i literally do not care if we just met you're not getting the coochie this is one of the reasons why i always say to the girlies close your legs open your mind use your mind get the bag and be smart and land a man that is your man that is the man that you're gonna open your legs for not just anybody so after i saw it then i responded to it reasons why i literally get turned off by men if you don't
All right, so I wanted to respond to this and my friend was just like, get will make it a teachable moment, okay? So we're gonna make it a teachable moment. I don't know this creator and with all due respect to everything that she said, I think first and foremost, people have every right to have standards and preferences, to want what they want and all of this is perfect, wonderful. However, the thing is, when you say that these are the standards, these are the things that you expect, while in the same TikTok, in the same breath, barrage and look down upon people who don't do this kind of thing by saying then it's chai is rude. It's exceptionally rude. And also, secondly, why don't you start with yourself? Ladies, all I'm going to say is that let's not live in this version and level of Deluluville. This is the Luluville. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. I call Jetta for free. This is the Luluville because if you are going to expect a certain kind of treatment from someone coming towards you, from a partner coming towards you, why aren't you doing these things for yourself? Are you even doing these things for yourself? Because if you're going to expect a certain kind of love, a certain kind of high value person, are you a person of high value yourself? Do you treat yourself in that manner? Can you do those things for yourself or do you expect someone else to do them for you? And if you do, why are you placing so much value on another person to give you the things that you want when you should be giving them to yourself? You know how heartbreaking it is to have these kinds of expectations and then continuously, continuously tend to be disappointed over and over and over again. Ladies do not live in this level of Deluluville. In South Africa, there's a very small margin of people that can provide this kind of lifestyle for you. Very, very small margin of people. So to listen to someone give this kind of advice, I cannot say anything outside of the fact that it's living from Deluluville. It's giving quite Deluluville. Want these things for yourself first and become the high value woman that will attract a high value man, period. Don't, guys, this is But but a talk. Life doesn't work that way in the economy, in the life that we want. Second, thirdly, you know, it would be nice to start by saying, Hore, you know, outside of all these things and these standards and these preferences that you want, maybe want a kind man, a considerate man, a man also, I'll never go up until the or lay a hand on you, a man who's going to treat you well with trust and loyalty and respect and all of this, then maybe let those be the core foundations of what you look for first, then look for all the other things. That, that ain't it. That, sorry, sorry, sorry. That was a day ago at this point. It's, it's like sitting on 30,000 views right now, my response to it. And uh, I seem to have made friends on TikTok. Men seem to really agree with what I said to her. Um, and men are not my favorite people, <laughs> personally. Personally, men are not my favorite people, but it's fine. I mean, you know, just because. So I just kind of have to see this car everywhere I go. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so just because um, I may agree slightly with men in this instance doesn't necessarily mean I'm men's best friend. I'm not. I really don't like men. I really don't. And it be like that sometimes. But it's I've been reading quite a lot. And it's been... It's not even fiction reading that I'm reading. But I've been reading quite a lot. And it's been the healing, the trauma, the working on yourself. the All of this kind of reading that I've been doing. And that shit... That shit does wonderful things for you. Um, so I feel a lot stronger than I have in the last couple of weeks. You know, pulling out of my silent girl era. Uh, lots of exciting things are happening. I bagged another campaign. What? Look at God. Okay. There was a whole lot of silence. You know, my social media life and campaigns and all of that's just never really been a thing. 
and here we are we're in march and i'm on my second campaign of the year sometimes i would literally have one campaign in a year we're on the second one in the year which is amazing my coaching i've got new clients amazing uh and for me that makes me so excited because purposefully driven life i've spoken about it in many a many a many a time so i don't need to speak about it now uh but outside of that yo man it's things are looking up and i'm grateful and god was just like in my time in my season and in when the season it's mine i will make it yours and i'm just grateful i'm grateful still in my silent girl era um still enjoying my moments of peace and quiet and silence still really enjoying that so for now that's that's what's going on you know i'm almost at the office so let me go I ain't trying to show y'all where i work <laughs> i'm almost I'm almost at the office so let me go and yeah i'll try i'll try and take some footage throughout the day we'll see how that goes